Okay, so now we're back to some more Star Wars. Uh, oh, I need to shut off the steam. And there's a there's a there's either a computer here or here. I can't remember, but I know I have to go this way because this is this should still be blocked off by force fields. Let's double check just to make sure. Yeah, it's been like two or three weeks since I recorded Star Wars because I finished Bioshock. And then after Bioshock, I started playing some Skyrim, and I played that for two weeks. So it's been forever since I played Star Wars. Yep, that's still there. Alright, so let's go through these water locks. And then we'll get, uh... Little Droid Man to... Seriously, dude? Yes? Warning. All right. There we go. And here it is. Hack this, would you? Deactivate steam vents. How many spikes do I have? Five. Alright, so I can go through there now. Now there was another room. Training room? Yeah, how do I get in there? System override menu. Computer power conduits, disrupt sentry droid targeting, disable droids. Disable the force field so I can get through there faster. I don't really need to, though. Reception, that's the front room, isn't it? Yeah. Training room, flow control, steam control, disassembly. Not worried. I want to get into that training room. Alright. Let's actually go this way and see if I can get into the training room with Mr. Droid Man. What's in here? Nothing of consequence. Oh, sorry. Sure. What the hell? Yeah, let's own you. Dude. What? Alright. Sweet, lots of money. Alright, y'all ready? Hold on. Ah, I can't switch out the droid! Hold on, let me save. Recording, save, yes. Okay. Dormitory, training room, medical. Medical goes this way. Dormitory doesn't look like it connects to anything. So let's hit this up first. Sasha. That name looks familiar. Shasa? Yeah.
gonna be a lie. Uh. Argument? I would have thought it easier to prove the evil of the dark side than that. Again, nothing super exciting. Ah, oh, the medical room is the small one. My mistake. You ready? Whoa. Maybe I should have come here first. Yeah, I should have come here first. Okay. Oh well, I still convinced them to leave. I guess that's why technically it was still... Uh, quote unquote good training room. Where are you? There you are. Hello! I'm gonna do... That. Dark Sith back here somewhere. How did you get in here? Wait, I recognize you. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. 
Well, let me guess. You intend to collect this reward, right? See? What did I tell you? As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall remove this thorn from Malak's side once and for all. I don't think you will, honestly, but you can try. Alright, so we're gonna do that and then that. You should focus on stun ray, flamethrower. Let's do stun. Stasis. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Stasis this guy and then attack him. Yes! <laughs> Jedi Master robes. I think you can wear those, Jolie. Nope, that's this, actually. Jedi Knight. Dark Jedi Master. Three and eight. This is two and eight. Let's do that. Hey, you can wear something. Will plus three, awareness plus two. Will plus two... Awareness plus four. So let's do three and two. There we go. I think I'm good. Let's go get some loot. I didn't even have to use med packs during that fight. That was awesome. Dark Jedi Knight robe again. It's alright, I'll equip whoever I need to with that. Just this, huh? The data pad. There's a purple data pad. There it is. These appear to be the personal notes of the Dark Jedi Master in charge of the Sith base on Manan. It seems the Sith have been trying to turn impressionable young Selkath over to the dark side after regarding the lengthy process... Oh, after reading the lengthy process reports on this topic, it seems that the final plan was to use these young Selkath to overthrow the current government and install a pupper gov puppet government uh, that the Sith would dominate. Of course. Token. Oh, that's right. Oh, God. Yes? Sure. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll go towards the steam vent area. 
Oops, I'm still in this room. I'm just kidding. Uh, over here. This place is confusing! So, excellent. That was awesome. I was able to do that whole section over there. Granted, I probably would have gotten more experience from previous quests if I had gone there first. But I tried to go there first and it was locked. So I gave up easily. And you need... Warning. Oh, I got turned around. <laughs> yes? Just kidding. All right. At least I can hear the droid behind me. I was about to say, did he stop? What a jerk. Freaking God. Is he even walking? He is. Uh, these people. Come on. Three weeks later. Dude, did you just stop when you got to the door? All right, you ready? Oh my God. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, was, I was a little more anticlimactic than I had expected. That, that, that's it? Oh, this must be the other entrance into the base. Oh, now I feel stupid. All this work to get there. Oh, well. Maybe I can use some of this evidence that I picked up against... Um, the Sith somehow, in another way. You know what I mean? You probably don't. That's okay. You'll figure it out. Alright, so I guess the only people left to talk to for the trial are Sunri and Sunri's wife again. I want to talk to Sunri about the possibility of him cheating on his wife first. Speaking of which, where was that? The city east central, maybe? This doesn't lead anywhere but the Sith base, track, and the store. So it's obviously not here. Oop, I had a bit of lag there. Sorry if that comes through in the recording. Okay. I do that little thing to help synchronize the video back up if there's lag. Central, Taviok Shop, the Hotel, Republic. I guess it's obviously going to be this way somewhere. Port Official, Docking Bay, Auto West. The 
This is the courts, I think, over here. Yeah, there's Elora. So the prison is back here. More lag. Weird. Okay, another synchronized. Sorry, guys. Jolly! Coming to check in on an old man? I must confess, I... I would rather you were here to speak to the warden and begin my trial. Soon, old friend. We don't want to go to trial until we've got the whole picture. Oh, I grow weary of staring at these four bare walls. But I suppose you know what you're doing. You know, the role of arbiter cannot be taken lightly. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. We, uh, I, oh, no, what this must look like, yes. Yes, we were having an affair. I know it was wrong, but I'm a weak man. Alasa was beautiful and young. How was I to resist her charms? But I didn't kill her. I loved her. Please. I know I made a terrible mistake getting involved with Alasa, but I was going there to break it off with her. I did it but found out later that she was dead. I don't deserve to go to jail just for having an affair, do I? You have to help me prove that I wasn't the killer. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to, I've... Mm. A Rodian? I didn't know there were any Rodians on Manan. Oh, except for Tybark and this one named Glupar, who's hanging around the hotel all the time. Okay, so maybe there are a whole bunch of Rodians on Manan. But what does that matter? If he planted evidence at the scene, it's a clear sign of a frame-up. He probably took all the evidence of the real killer at the same time. The evidence of a Sith conspiracy keeps getting stronger, doesn't it? I suspect there's still stuff you want to clear up. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. Okay. How would they know? They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith have been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. So the truth is out. I never meant to kill her, you know. When I found out she was a Sith spy using me to gain information, that something inside me just snapped. She didn't know I had found out. So I waited until she fell asleep. And then I... I killed her. Simple, really. But once I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. I contacted those spies from the Republic to help me. They found the illegal monitoring device that the Sith had planted in the room, altered its recording to hide my part in it, and cleared up the evidence. I figured that was the end of it. Hmm. The Sith must have been spying on me and Alasa, trying to make sure she wasn't a double agent. They must have seen the Republic spies getting rid of all the evidence. So they planted their own evidence. Vasa must have stolen that hero's cross from me long ago and given it to her Sith Masters like some kind of trophy. I just thought I'd misplaced it. But when the cross turned up on her body, I knew the Sith had put it there. So, now you know the whole story. What are you going to do? I'm sorry, bro. You're gonna have to confess, man. You think I'm some kind of monster, don't you? All I did was kill a Sith. How many Sith have you killed? Dozens? Hundreds? Thousands? That's different, Sunri, and you know it. We don't kill them in cold blood while they sleep. I don't see how the two of us are any different. She was a spy. She was using me to get information so Malak's army could destroy the Republic. She deserved to die. I confess, 
I'm looking at 20 years in prison. And the Otto City officials might even place Colto sanctions on the Republic Embassy. Without Colto, how can we treat the injuries to our soldiers on the front lines? No, I can't do that. And put the Republic's supply of Colto in danger. No, I won't. Now look, I may have done something stupid. And it may only be worse for my standing by it, but I will not confess. If you turn me in, the Republic will likely lose its Colto export privileges, and then we'll lose the war for sure. Are you going to send all those thousands, millions like Taurus, to their deaths just for your sense of justice? Sunray, this is wrong and you know it. I am a Jedi. What is it that you expect me to do to defend your actions? You do whatever you have to, Jolie. I know what I did, but I also know what's at stake here. No, I'll rot in here if I have to, but I won't betray the Republic. Do what you have to, but know what the consequences will be. I don't know, man. It's hard. If I want to live by the Sith Code, like, legit, I gotta turn you in, bro. It doesn't matter. I hear you've been appointed as Arbiter in Sunri's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. <sighs> Lies! It, it must be! I knew the Sith would never let a Republic hero get away. You must find Sunri innocent. This is all a plot to discredit the Republic. Sunri is a victim of a Sith frame-up. It's possible. I haven't seen Sunri since I crashed on Kashyyyk. A man can change a lot in that time. The man I knew could never have done this crime, however. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this. Well... It doesn't, actually. Obviously, the game expected me to talk to you first. This is the trial, isn't it? Oh, okay. Sorry, friend. I'm gonna have to turn you in. Oh. Oops. Sorry, I gotta talk to the guard. I forgot about that. Or the warden, not the guard. Alright, warden, bring him in. Well, I want to begin the trial. Come on, baby. 